to the Torium. Special things for this type of the young lady that I call it for. So your new is much superior compared to the commonly prescribed drug. If it is within this one, the FTR region. Okay, so we are we are now back in our discussion in differential equation with with homogeneous coefficients, in which we have here on our screen an example in which we are going to solve for the general solution of this differential equation. So we have x squared minus x y plus y squared dx minus x y dy is equal to zero. So as you can see by inspection. So, this given equation could not be separated. Okay. So, we could then use variable separable. The variables could not be separated. The first one of that is this part, this term. You could not factor out in this term x or y because of this term. And because this term has no y and this term has no x. So, you could not factor out. So, therefore, you could not use directly the method we learned from variable separable. So, for us, we could say that our m is in terms of x and y, and our n is in terms of x and y. So, the very first thing to do is to test if this function is homogeneous or not. So, first we need to test our function m x of y. So, wherein our f of x y is equal to x squared minus x y plus y squared. So, we substitute our x and y in terms of lambda x and lambda y so this will be equal to lambda x squared quantity squared lambda x here okay so we just write this clearly lambda x times lambda y plus lambda y squared so we will end up with lambda squared x squared minus lambda minus lambda squared x y plus lambda well, lambda is almost written as x lambda squared y squared factor out lambda so we have lambda squared x squared minus x y plus y squared which is also original to our which is also equal to our original equation so we'll have lambda squared f x y so this m x y is homogeneous so we need to test n for this one so our n x y so we need to determine if it is homogeneous so our function which is in terms of x and y and y is x y so just neglect the sign so you could neglect the sign so we substitute lambda x lambda y is equal to lambda x for the value of x here lambda y for the value of y so we have lambda squared xy then our xy is equal to the given function so lambda squared f xy so therefore this is also homogeneous so our two given functions are homogeneous so if the of if our m and our n is homogeneous then we could use the uh, method of solving differential equ equations if the given functions or coefficients are homogeneous functions okay so we now go to the solution itself so the very first thing to do is first to test because if the given equation is uh, is not homogeneous meaning the coefficients are not homogeneous functions therefore we could not use this technique or we could not arrive with the general solution by using this technique so that is the very first thing to do test if the coefficients are homogeneous functions or not okay so maybe we'll add a new slide for this one have a new color of pen so we just write here our given function 
x squared minus xy plus y squared dx minus xy dy is equal to 0. So, by inspection, we could say that this the coefficient of dx dm is much complicated, more complicated compared to the coefficient of dy which is n. So, we, we choose which coefficient is much simpler and we replace the variable that is dominant to that um, coefficient for this one this is the simpler so this is n and the derivative so the dominant variable for this one is y so we would, we would replace y so this is done so that our given differential equation will not become more complicated after we substitute all of the replacements that we are going to do okay so we will have a very a much simpler solution of course we could uh, consider this most complicated one in which we could um, replace our x in terms of a function and a y then we could arrive with the same so same answer but the problem is the solution is much longer and sometimes if the solution is longer we would commit commit some mistakes on uh, on solving or on getting the answer okay so we will have so let y is equals to u times x so our dy is u dx plus x du okay so we will just write clearly our u okay then we substitute everything to this given equation so we could have x squared minus we use bracket xy times ux plus so y squared is ux so ux squared dx minus x y is ux so ux dy is this one u dx plus x du okay it's equal to zero then we will from this point onwards it will now be purely algebra until we come up come up to a much simpler um, equation so we have x squared so we did just to extract this one so this is x squared u plus x squared u squared dx minus x squared u u dx plus x du so of equals to zero so this point we could say that we could factor out so just factor out first factor out our x squared so x squared is equal to one minus u plus u squared dx okay then minus x squared u u dx plus x du is equal to zero then we need to um, divide both side at uh, multiply both side by one over x squared so we could cancel out here and here so we're left with one minus u plus u squared dx then we could have u times u dx plus x du is equals to zero distribute u to to this um, quantity here so we have one minus u plus u squared dx minus u squared dx plus x u du is equal to zero combine terms that have dx so you have one minus u plus u squared minus u squared for this one dx is um, plus x du is equal to zero so we could cancel out this one so we'll end up with one minus u dx plus x du is equal i believe we have a u here so we have u okay so we just delete this one okay so 
This is D. So, X, U, D, U. So this will be X, U, D, U. X, U, D, U is equal to 0. Okay, maybe we, do, we will have a new slide again. We just copy this equation. Okay. Copy that one also. Okay, so new slide. Okay. So we we'll just be copying this equation here. Okay, that one. So this is the last part of the previous slide. Okay. Then as you can see this is this now become a variable separable differential equation in which we could separate x and u the variable x and u so doing that we could um, divide both sides by x1 minus u so we will end up with dx over x plus I believe cancelled x we have u du all over um, 1 minus u okay so let's just check first our functions here okay so we commit a mistake again for in the sign okay so I was wondering why it is positive I mean it's negative so this is negative negative so this is um, distributed inside so that will be also negative so sometimes we need to review our solution especially the signs okay so this will be here this will be negative negative okay so this one we could have this one as positive but we will have the, the denominator as negative of course we could do that um a uh, basing algebra so this is over x not dx over x okay okay so we will have this further dx or dx over x plus so we we will distribute the negative sign so we have u du this will be positive so u minus one is equal to zero now we are going to integrate so this is now a a differential equation in which the variables are in terms of each other and the question is why i write this one as dx okay so this is u so integrate integrate of course we could integrate our zero it is still a constant okay so we have ln x plus we will um just leave this one as is or we could have also this one separated okay but we did leave this one as is we have u du over u minus one is equal to i believe we have l and c okay so for this one so we just apply again algebra so division of polynomials we have u minus one u that will be one u it will be plus, okay. Oh, no, it will be minus. Sorry for that. So this will be minus, okay. So this will be minus. So zero, that will be plus one. So you have plus one over u minus one, okay. So your equation now will become ln x plus integral of one plus 1 over u minus 1 du is equal to ln c so this is just distribute du here so we have du plus um, du over u minus 1 is equal to ln c so we have ln x plus the integral of this one is u plus ln u minus 1 so for those of you who forgot how to get the integral of this one then you better review your integral calculus so that is ln u minus 1 ln c okay so again we will have a new slide 
Okay, just copy that one. So we go to the next slide. Okay. So this one we could um, combine LNX. This is our LNX here. We could combine that one. So we have ln x uh, that will be this will be plus so u minus one plus u is equal to ln c okay then maybe we could simplify this further okay so maybe we could um we could move this one to the other side of the equation so we have ln x now this will be u is equal to ln c minus ln x u minus 1. So this one will now become u is equal to ln c over x because this is minus. So u minus 1. Okay. Then we raise everything to e. e u is equal to e to the ln c over x u minus 1 then this one will be e this one will just be equal to 1 it will be and the abscissa will be dropped so you have e to the u c over x times u minus 1 okay now the next is to um to make our general solution here in terms of x and y because the given equation as given is in terms x and y okay how we are going to do that is first let's go back to our assumption we say that let y is equals to u times x so that is what we assume at the beginning of this solution of the solution so we could say that solving for u, u is equal to y over x. So we need we just substitute this one to this given equation here or this general equation here. So we could have now have e y over x is equal to c over x times y over x minus 1 and we could still simplify this much farther so we have e raised to the power of y over x is equals to c that will be x times y minus x over x so just getting the uh, lcd cancel cancel so we will end up with e y over x is equals to c all over y minus x and this is now our general solution okay so thank you for watching this video i hope you learned something i believe the solution is um, longer but that is how the method of solving equations with uh, efficient equations with homogeneous coefficient works so you need to uh, practice this one in order for you to have uh, maybe a much faster um, um, time in solving this one of course it depends also on the given equation okay so thank you for watching this video maybe we will have some other videos that will um, solve this one and as always enjoy learning